afternoon folks it's good friday uh, and i'm out on my daily covid walk in the uh, python valley which is just up the road from uh, from our house uh, i've got the wife and kids with me it's a lovely day i've heard my first willow warblers of the year lots of spring flowers out lots of butterflies skizzy uh, or a skylark singing up there call them skizzies um, yeah you can do a decent circuit around the valley you can walk through the valley from our house and within an hour hour and a half you can be on the Pennine way and you can be on the ice point of the Pennines around here um, the actual watershed where east of that the rivers flow to the North Sea and on this side on the west they flow to the Irish Sea and I'm thinking would it be viable to do a wild camp up there I can walk from my front door won't be coming into contact with people I can camp and the day after I can walk back again won't have to drive anywhere personally I can't see a problem with that no doubt some people will um, but no, I, I, I don't have an issue with that and it's something I'm seriously considering uh, so we'll just have to wait and see anyway, I'll probably come back to you in a bit bye Those moors at the head of the valley there, that'll take you up to uh, the Ram's Head pub. Cracking pub that down the years. More of an eating place now, I think. Those are the moors at the head of the valley. And you can follow an old path that goes over to Marsden, an old track, an old pack horse track. Follow that, go up this other valley called Redican Dean, and you're at the Pennine Way. Not that long from here, 45 minutes maybe. It's a nice walk. Had a nice encounter with a mizzle thrush on a nest. Uh, back there is a bit of a wood. In about 1987, 1988-ish, me and a mate carved our names on, on, a, on a tree in the wood. And subsequently, the same tree is where I proposed to the missus. Uh, anyway, I've just been to show my kids where I carved my name. And they put my hand on a mizzle thrush's nest. It's actually nesting in the tree. Which I think it's pretty amazing. I've been coming here for over 40 years uh, I've never seen so many toads. I knew there were somewhere in the valley, but I've always seen a few crushed ones on roads now and again. And I knew they spawned somewhere here, but I never sussed out where. And obviously, where I've just been filming them. I just found two on the track looking really dry and dusty. So I picked them up and took them to one of the little water courses. One of them looked a bit cross to me, I wondered if it had come from there and it was actually trying to go in the opposite direction. Right folks, uh, I'm on the descent through the valley, I'm getting lower down now, not too far from home. I'm going to sign off there because the kids are just mithering me constantly about wanting to mess about with this GoPro. So before the battery runs out I'll let them uh, mess about with it. Anyway, see you later, bye. Oh Bethany.
Is it still recording? Yeah. That'll just look like a black blob. Look up your nose.